Okay, in video eight, I showed you how to add a color layer to your animation, and we, we did a gray background and colored the character white. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually ink and clean up your character and add color and add a PNG background. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this is where we left off in the last video. We're gonna leave the background gray and we're going to delete this color layer. So let's do delete column. And now we just have our rough animation layer, okay? And our animation starts on frame 11 and goes to frame 41. Okay, so this is it. So let's select the layer and adjust the opacity down to something like 25. And we'll lock this layer so we don't accidentally mess up the timing or delete anything we're not didn't mean to delete okay so now on column two this will be our ink layer so we let's do a tunes new tunes raster level and we'll call this uh, character ink and let's rename the column ci for character ink uh, let's do CI in K. There we go. And you just see his feet. Let's get a shot where he is actually full character. So I'm going to go down to like frame 14 and move our first frame down to 14. And so now under here over colors, let's uh, select an ink brush. So let's go down here to raster and we'll just do, you know, one that I really like is this one called Kabura. So let's select that. And now we'll just go up here and let's make sure the color is on black and we'll select our brush. Okay, so that's really thick. So what I'm going to do is turn off pressure. Let's see how thick it is. Okay, let's bump this down to like 0.1. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. And we can name this brush. Let's name it uh, Character Ink. Okay. So we're just going to go through here and start cleaning him up, okay? If you have a model sheet, you can look at that. And it's better to try to close all your lines, okay? And I made him just a really plain character. But I'm going to close this off right here so he'll have shoes on. Maybe give him shoelaces eh, maybe you won't see them on this side but maybe this is the bottom of his foot okay and i'll just make these decisions as i'm cleaning up so let's get this foot in and again let's give him shoes and let's maybe see the bottom of that foot slightly and there's his belt line so we'll give him like you know, we'll color his pants and he'll have long sleeves on. So let's come up here and do our best to draw some hands. And I undo a lot. So let's get something like this. So we'll cut off his sleeves right at the wrist. Okay. And he's got this neck, and we'll give him a shirt collar like this. And we're just going to color his nose in black. We're just going to scribble it in because I like that. Same with his mouth. And he's got these eyeballs, so let's make sure and close those up because we want to color those white. Uh, we'll just do his hair black. His hair hair will come around his head sorry not his hair and we'll 
draw this arm. Okay. And if you mess up, just erase and do it again. Okay. Let's go ahead and color in the bottom of his feet all black. So it's really just kind of up to you. I'm going to give a little shadow under the neck. That might be fun. Yeah, it's just really up to you how you want to ink it, you know. Uh, so let's go down to the next drawing. Get this one in. Okay. And if you need to, flip back to see, like, his foot is a little more pointy on that one. See the bottom of his foot coming down. Okay, let's get his body. Might maybe stretch it out a little more. Push that hip line. This knee, maybe it's coming up a bit more. Okay, close that off for his shoes. Draw the bottom of his foot. Maybe a little shadow right there, maybe. Okay, uh, I see he's coming down and his head is, whoa. Blow that nose in. Okay, so right here, I need to erase that line. Okay. So I'm just kind of flipping back to see how I, I drew his mouth. Because I don't really have a like a character sheet for this guy. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. Straighten his hair out. And I'm, you know, I'm following the animation I did, mostly. You can take some liberties in, in the animation as you go along. It's fine. You just want to make sure all your lines are closed off will save you a lot of headache later maybe we see let's see if that makes sense where we see the inside of his hand you know I'm just gonna keep it like this for now I think that will work just fine. Okay, so we're going to go through every frame and just clean him up, just ink him, okay? So I'm going to fast forward through this next part and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm wrapping up the last two frames here. Let's go ahead and get his body. Put this foot in here. And his back hand. Oops, I moved the pivot so it went a little wonky. Okay. So now this 41, Let's see, we'll just barely see his foot and that toe. So I'm going to change this contact pose because right here we see his foot. So I want to bring that heel 
down right there. Yeah, I think that'll work right there. Okay. Okay, so let's auto renumber it. Make sure all of our frames line up with our drawings. 34, 34, okay. And let's turn off the rough sketch and hit play. Let me recenter it. Oh, okay, so I missed three drawings right up here. So let's go back. And let's do these three drawings. I'm just going to click in here to set a blank key. Okay. Now we can auto renumber again. There we go. 11, 12, 13, 14. So let's see what 13 looks like. Okay, he's coming in. 14. Okay, so he's coming in on 13. So let's go ahead and get this drawing in. I'm going to zoom back in. Okay, now we got those in. So let's move on to coloring. Okay, so if all of our lines are closed, this should go pretty smoothly. I just want to run back through and make sure everything is kind of tidy. So as I flip through, I'm just kind of looking at different parts. To make sure everything's closed up. Looking good. Okay, so now we can go in and we're going to turn off the rough sketch. So now let's go through and color it. And we're just going to do it on the same layer as the ink. Okay. So let's create a new brush. And we'll call this Pants. And then we'll find a color for the pants. I'm going to do kind of this kind of blue, desaturated. Okay, get the paint bucket tool. Make sure to turn off frame range because I'm just going to go through every frame and color the pants. Okay, so here, if I color it, it's going to fill the whole body. See that? It's because I forgot that center line. So let's go back to our character ink, get our brush, and we could turn on onion skin just to see. Yeah, it's like right in there. Okay, let's go back to our pants, turn off onion skin. Actually, pretty fun coloring it in. That's his hand, that's his foot, okay. I'm just going to scrub through. Oh, we missed a frame. See right here? Right before he takes off. Okay, so now let's create a new color for the shirt. And we'll pick out a green oh okay maybe that that looks good so let's go through and color the shirt and then I'll do a color for the we'll do his skin and let's figure out a color for his shoes and da, da, da. so I think that's it okay so I'm gonna uh, color him in real quick and then I'll be back in a second and we'll go over inserting a background, okay? Okay, so let's wrap up coloring Stan. Let's make sure everything's filled in. Zoom out a little. Let's hit play. 
Okay, looking good. So now let's bring in our background, okay? And I created this background in Krita, and I wanted to try to uh, emulate like a old, like a Looney Tune style background. So let me show you what I came up with. This is the background, and it's a PNG. And so what we're gonna do is in here, we're gonna go to frame one and column three. And we are just going to drag in our PNG directly onto our canvas like this, okay? Now let's go to open tunes and up here in the left hand corner, I'm gonna get this little tool called the animate tool or A on your keyboard and scale. And if we hover over the H, we can click and drag left and right and it will scale our image to fit the canvas, okay? And then we can go to V, so we can drag down and get this the same size as our canvas. And now we want to hold this image over a whole the entire animation, okay? So if you go to your uh, keyframe right here, your image on column three, there's a little tab and you can click and drag this tab and it will hold the background image all the way down. And we're gonna hold it all the way down to 51 because that's where our animation stops. I wanna, after he goes off screen, I wanna hold the animation for 10 more frames. Rename this to BG background and let's drag it to the left of everything. It's gonna be the very bottom layer, okay? Okay, so let's hit play and see how it looks. I hope you had as much fun coloring your animation and inking it as I did. Until next time, happy animating, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.